Hey guys, James Dolan here with Vacon Sales. Today we're going to talk a little bit about doing maintenance on your Titan combination unit. Now you're probably wondering what kind of grease do I need, what kind of hydraulic oil do I need, what kind of gear oil do I need. Well, that question is very easily answered. Inside your toolbox is everything you need to know. From the type of fluid and grease you need to know, as to the location of all your different grease fittings if they're not mount, remount, mounted remotely. Um, all the different types of grease and the different types of lubes from your standard multi-purpose to synthetic to 7590 gear oil to the type of hydraulic oil. So let's talk about maintenance intervals. You've got certain items on the truck that are going to need to be serviced or checked at different times. You're not going to want to do everything daily. You're not going to want to do everything monthly. Uh, so let's say, for example, first and foremost, you want to check your chassis fluids, your chassis oil, your antifreeze, your transmission fluid, even down to your windshield washer fluid. That's stuff you want to look at on a daily basis. Another item you want to make sure you check on a daily basis is going to be your hydraulic oil. On your hydraulic tank, you have a sight gauge. You want to make sure that even when the fluid's cold, you can at least see a little bit of it over the cold line. Now, another item that you want to check daily, and you're going to do this at the end of the day once you've dumped your tank out, is going to be your cyclonic separator. So as you're cleaning the tank, just take your low pressure gun and rinse this out real good, get all the sediment and the dirt out. You want to do that on a daily basis because if you don't and you let material build up, it can adversely affect your vacuum. So in addition to the stuff that you're going to check daily, there's also items that you want to check weekly. Uh, such That would be such as um, your boom grease points, uh, your rear door, uh, the tank scissors, as well as the tank's uh, pins. All that stuff's going to be listed on that the sticker inside your toolbox. Now, some of these, some of your, your, some of your trucks might have a remote fitting, some of them may not. This particular truck does have a remote grease block mounted right here on the toolbox. That makes things a lot easier and a lot more convenient to get through. Uh, there's also a remote up on the boom as well as on the rear door. Uh, now, another item that you want to make sure you take care of real well is your fan. If you have a three-stage fan, it needs to be greased every eight working hours. It has three fittings on it. Uh, the remote, the remote fitting for this truck is over on the other side. We'll see it in a minute. But you have two, you have two fittings on on the uh, motor side of, of the fan, and then you have one fitting on the end bearing of the fan. We previously mentioned your fan, if your truck is so equipped, has three bear, has three grease fittings on it. Here's the remote location for this one. I've got my two for the motor side of the fan, as well as my other one going to the end bearing side. Like I said, I can't, I can't repeat this enough every eight working hours. Now for this one, this does take a specific grease. It's gonna be your mobile uh, SHC synthetic. That's an extreme pressure, extreme temp grease. Now you can use that for just the fan and use your standard multi-purpose lithium for the rest of the truck, or you can just use the red synthetic grease for everything. Makes it a little bit easier. You don't have to have two grease guns and you can use one grease to do the entire truck. So let's talk about the stuff you need to do monthly. Um, up on the hose reel, you have two bearings that they're gonna need to be greased monthly. Now they can be put on a, uh, on a remote uh, grease block if you like, or you can just have them by themselves. Again, you're gonna wanna check those on a month to month basis. Just give them a couple of pumps each time. Another thing you wanna check monthly is gonna be the seals on your in out box, as well as the seals on your door. The way you go about that is open your door or lift up the tank to access the seals for your in out box. And just take a light coating of grease and smear it around close each item and lift it back up or open it, you want to check and see what kind of an imprint you're getting. If either one is not getting a good seal, that's also going to adversely affect your vacuum and the performance of the truck. Hey guys, so let's talk about the last couple of things you want to make sure you include in your maintenance schedule. Your hydraulic high pressure filter element right there, it's going to be mounted up there on the front of the subframe. You're going to want to make sure you replace that annually as well as check or flush, to, you know, check the condition of your hydraulic fluid or flush it if necessary. Another item a lot of guys forget about is actually your vacuum tube on top of your boom. Especially if you're vacuuming up a lot of sediment, a lot of heavy debris or bricks or rocks, you want to make sure that you rotate that tube about 45 degrees every month or so. Doing that will, will drastically increase its life and keep it from wearing out. Thank you guys for watching this. If you have any more questions, you can visit us at www.vacon.com. That's V-A-C-C-O-N.com. Or you can give us a call at 904-284-4200. Thank you.